2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Golf Club Championship. Today's coverage is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Major Champion Rich Beam in the booth and it's wonderful to welcome in Henny Koyak who's out on the course following our featured group. Hey Luke and Rich, I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round and I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media it'll be even more spicy out here. Well, it's certainly a great opportunity for this player to bounce back in this rivalry. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement that these two generate. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Time for the second shot into the first. Really had that shot dialed in. Nicely done. Putting for birdie here. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A birdie to start the day. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And that finds him in a share of second. Time to tee off at the second. Players looking to make four here, but never disappointed with a par five. Well, well played. Playing from around 240 yards. Opting for the three wood. All right, we're going with an extra club here. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting out to this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. Come on, ball. Come on. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Butting for birdie. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And now over to Tony Finau. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He that's outstanding. Mark that down on the highlight reel. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. Well, that's beautifully judged. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. It's on a great line. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Well, this will be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. 
Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. The fourth of TPC, Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Lovely effort, that. Second shot here on the fourth. That's a high-quality recovery shot. Love watching this player around the greens. Always nice to have a birdie putt. I like the look of this. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Setting the tone early in this round. Still in the lead now after that hole. Here we are at the fifth hole. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. They'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one is right down the pipe. Oh, that one had eyes for the flag the whole way. It's just about three feet away. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. Oh, almost went in. A lovely shot into a few feet. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is up by four shots now. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston, is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. A good chance to move to six under par here. This one's looking good. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. And that will take him to six under. And with that hole behind them, they currently lead ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker? 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Rich, obviously, and we've joked about it a fair bit in this game, that you've been one of the rare players to take Tiger Woods down in his prime. But what was it like to play in the Tiger era and just how dominant he was? 
It was simply amazing. You knew that each and every week that he showed up to a tournament, you better have your game ready to go because you assumed that he was going to be firing at all cylinders. Because even when he wasn't, his game was still good enough to beat most everybody in those fields. You wanted him there because you always want to test yourself against the best. However, it, it, if you weren't playing very well, you're kind of fearful teeing it up because you just knew that your best at that moment in time wasn't nearly going to be good enough to beat Tiger no matter what he brought to the table. He made each and every play. That goes down for an eagle. Oh, beautiful little pitch shot down the hill. Thank you. Gets it to go. Great shot. Leading by six strokes after that one. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. Par three in a diabolical green, to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. Ooh, just skinned the hole, that one. And if they didn't have their rival Tony Finau's attention before, they certainly do now. What an approach shot. Getting ready to play their third. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight shot advantage. Time now to begin the ninth hole, Rich. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Good looking shot, this. Playing from around 160 yards. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. And hitting yet another green here today. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This one, guys, he's got around nine feet. This for back-to-back -back birdies. This one's online. And now over to Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. This would be a great up and down. <laughs> Certainly makes putty easy if he can chip it that close. Great touch. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up and the players perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Henny, what's the player facing here? Well, by my estimation, they're looking at 110 here. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. This one looks to be heading towards the green. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the 10th. This putt about 11 feet in distance. This is their look at Birdie. This one's tracking. Super shot, that. He 
is currently sitting in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And we've arrived at a par three. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. A wonderful shot. A chance for birdie here on the 11th. And just about eight feet left to the hole. This looks good. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Now teeing off on the 12th hole. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck, you'll need it. Time to catch up with the Canadian, Brooke Henderson. This is how you do it, seven days a week. Well, there's a scorecard saver, Rich. That's perfection. Time for the second shot at the 12th. Going with the five wood. One just missed the hole. You like that, didn't you? All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. This is on a great line. Wonderful shot. Currently 13 under for the day. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Par four, back up the hill, 447 yards. This is an adventure-filled par four. Stonking drive there. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got... I'd say a solid 145 here. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Well played. This part here to get to 14 under the card. That was a gallant attempt. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Nice to make a mid-range par putt. And there 
there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. This is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Let's begin the 14th. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I gotta say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. This shot from around the 200 yard mark. Mm. That's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Get in. Well, this was the conundrum, wasn't it? When the new rule came in, did they leave the flagstick in or did they take it out? I'm pretty sure they wish they would have taken it out there. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. Par four, 421 yards, a seemingly simple par four. Oh, absolutely flushed. And Henny, what's he looking at here? This is looking around 115 yards out. <laughs> Terrific shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. This putt just five feet away from the hole. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. Yeah, this is some high-quality golf. Down the putt goes, and it's 15 under par, heading down the stretch. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. Looks to be going with the six iron. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Well done. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Oh, that's incredible. He sold it. And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. We've arrived at a par four hole. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find the sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Well, Rich, the 17th hole of TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green actually bisected in two by Santa Claus's belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level, you have a birdie opportunity. And choosing the eight iron here. Oh my, right 
right by the hole. This putt coming up is for birdie. Looks good. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Currently in first position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston could be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. And this is why they put in hours and hours of practice. A putt to win it all. It was on a good line. That's disappointing. Not the end of the world. There's another chance here to close out the victory. Oh, wow. Holds it for victory. How good is that? Look, the victories. Winning never gets old, but this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Another victory on the season. Oh, Rich. We saw from the get-go that this player was right on song this week. Just a class above. This player absolutely dominated all week long, all tournament long. Great job. You don't see this happen very often. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.